Hey, Grandpa, where do you keep the mayonnaise? What was that? You want to know our origin story, eh? Sure. Well, it all starts with Operation Crossroads back in 46, not Operation Castle in 54 like your money thought. I looked a lot like you in those days. Your dad takes after your grandma. Anyway, we didn't wear clothes back in my day, although I did sport a pair of undies. Clean as a whistle, except round back. Is Grandma still alive? Yes, and we're happily married. Anyway, there I was, and then kaboom! Quite the looker, along with other members of our kind who made their home in and around McKinney at Hall. Then your dad hatched. Hi! So eight years came and went, and by that time it was the 50s. Now remember, these were the days before Dr. Phil, so parenting was still a trial and error kind of thing. So when I wanted your dad to go from energy rings to energy beams, well, I made a slight error. Ah, nuts! Anyway, I went straight to Tokyo to wrestle me up some plastic surgery. When some weirdo with an eye patch decides to do me in, I have no regrets! Ah, nuts! All because I caused a teeny tiny bit of catastrophic collateral damage. Anyway, while I was getting turned into a robot, I sent your dad off to the Kamandorsky Kaiju Boarding School. In the Bering Sea. Where he got his accent somehow. Does anyone have any borst? I can't listen to Utom alone no ye sonsa without borst. You might as well give me a balalaika with only two strings. You and I both know that Utom alone no ye sonsa is just a cheap knockoff of toast and nyanya jella. Okay, admittedly the Eastern European thing doesn't make any sense in retrospect, but this is the part of the flashback that has suddenly allowed me to introduce the Commodore Ski School bully. Gebra. He was an order a one. Picked on your dad for a whole fortnight back in 69. Until that fateful day when he repeated my error from years prior. I'm nuts. And there you have it. The origin of your dad and I. Pretty swell, huh? Sure, I guess. What about the mayonnaise? Top shelf of the fridge. All I found was ointment. If the ointment's in there, then what did I rub on my oh no? Hey, Grandpa, then what happened? Well, here's how it went. I have now grown into a full-fledged adult to the nuclear exposure in the Bering Sea. Woot! How would you like to go back through time to see the era of your childhood as an adult here? Huh. Let's do it. Yep, looks like Dad was here. I'm Sarazawa's clone. Arg! Oxygen destroyer backfire! Odo Island will cower at Minu Sock Puppet. I wonder if I'll ever get force choked into going crazy. A second though, man. Let's not destroy humankind. You're here. And so, that's, that's when, when I, I told, told Godzilla, Godzilla, you're not going to win, Peanut Brain, so why even try? Wait, that was kind of mean. Sorry. Aren't you supposed to be some kind of a ghost? Not until 77, and then maybe I'll do some time traveling to narrate random scenes. That is all. I told the egg pack to Infant Island, it hatched, and my kids are going to cocoon you in silk. You're not going to win, so why even try? Ugh, I can't wait until I start winning again. Pretend he's a wool sweater! Hi, what happened to her twin sister? <laughs> Now that the Planet X people have escaped into the future, it looks like we can finally return to- Whoa! What the- Now to play out my fantasy of how that meeting with the Earthmen should have panned out all those years ago. Dance for me, Godzilla of the future. I had been awakened, no thanks to Dio or the giant condor, but they did get rid of my foot fungus. Hello there, Chom. I'm planning on running for Congress in about 40 years. Can I count on you to be one of my constituents? What's your position on fun and the having thereof? Why did you take me out of school, older me? To teach you the ropes of being me before you become me, younger me. By the way, I'm going to call you Minya for the sake of ease. I prefer Minilla if we're going to do nicknames. Minya it is. Hi there, I intend to become Daikaiju president in about a decade or so, but before that, I'm going to set up a quote-unquote monster island here on Solgo. After the thaw, of course. After what thaw? Oh, you'll see. Now, about that nickname debacle. Just remember, you two, unless both sides win, no agreement can be permanent. Godzilla, darling, it will never work between us. I'm just not interested in a relationship. Well, the guy can try, can't he? Maybe my wandering eye got ahead of itself. By the way, doll, you need only use of one eye, right? I guess. Ow.
I'm now going to warp Godzilla and Minya to the future for no apparent reason here. Huh. <laughs> Reverse warp. Thank you for flying Imagination Airlines. Next stop, a totally cool island full of monsters that was created by a mantid XP of future president Jimmy Carter. Why did you take me out of school again? So we could apologize to someone we've wronged. Again, we're so sorry about. Nonsense, my fault entirely. I should not have made you the target of my belligerent bullying. Incidentally, would you care for a sip of a particularly pleasant potion that transmogrifies the drinker into a more prodigious version of him or herself? It definitely isn't sugar water, if that's what you're thinking. I don't think I need anything like that. But my dad might be interested. You should see him when they're done converting him into a cyborg. Give it about five more years. Oh my, I'm such a huge fan. You're the guy who inspired me to become a CPA slash Atlantic City buffet owner. And you've also given me the courage to plan a run for Congress in about 35 years. What's your position on fun and the having thereof? Are you always going to only be three and a half years old? Yes, for reasons I cannot explain. Anyway, Godzilla, I digress. I'm a really big fan of yours. Would you sign my eyeball? You? Okay. I hope you didn't need full use of that hand for a while. I heard the weird squeegee sounding tape. Do you know what it means? I think it said beware of hippies bearing candy canes. Or maybe beware of penguins dressed as the dearly departed. But I'm not even sure of the latter, for you see the nebulan word for penguins is almost identical to the words for cockroaches and hippies. A bit mental, eh? Dude, I totally have a feeling that we're not going to remember any of this, and like in maybe about 39 years, we'll hear a similar tape and ask everyone the same thing. Come on, what are the odds of that happening? Oh! Nah, are you okay? This is getting old. I must have programmed myself in some way to increase my own size! If robots can do that, I'll have to tell Gabra that Ted won't need his potion after all. Now, my friends, let's go listen to incomprehensible German rock music, shall we? I'll go out and fetch us some posh nosh. Well, Operation Invade Planet X was a bust! That female unit 037 is one meaty mic controller pants! Wait, the simian mind control, Dad? Remember, you were created by humans, not the ack holes. Black hole aliens will suffice. By the way, I love these new regenerative pants that they gave me. Nanites for the win! Yes, us for the win! You dragged me here for this? Well, I severed the mind control while old Moogle was busy getting his UFO out of impound. But I met a new friend in the process. Grandpa Gojira, I don't care if you're a cyborg. I'm in love with you. Would you like a ride in my almost brand new Ford Pinto? Wait, I thought you just wanted to be friends. Wait, why did you call him Grandpa? He doesn't have any grandkids. Yet. And so that's the story of how I met your grandma. I'm so confused. Is my grandma a Titanosaurus? What? No, Titano's a dude. Your grandma's one smoking hot old dame. Oh, wait. I think I know what happened. I told you my show a timeline summary story again by accident. Oh, well, I guess that's close enough. Well, you filled in a lot of continuity discrepancies from the early tunes, but I do have a question. Are there any events in our history that are non-canon? Any tune where someone gets squished. Hey, Mac, you're for in that you want. Bring it on, appetizer.